All right, guys, it's Chaska teaser time. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really excited for this character. For people that don't know, I stopped playing Genshin in, like, January of 2023 or wherever, whenever Al Alhatham first came out, right? Like, kind of near the end of Sumeru. Uh, and I stopped playing because Genshin was a lot, I was busy with life, and there was other games that, like, you know, were more interesting to me, and I was like, okay, well, Genshin's not super interesting to me that much right now, so I'm gonna put it off to the side, and then I'll pick it up if I ever get interested again. And then the trailer for Natlin came out, and I saw someone with a cowboy hat, and I was like, holy fucking shit, that's really all it takes for me to play a game. So, you know, now we're back here. Now we're playing Genshin. Uh, so, I, I'm i not shitting with you when I'm saying that the only reason I started playing Genshin again after, like, a year of not playing is because Chaska was teased. Is that Chaska was, like, hinted at coming out. And, you know, you know, debatably, just, listen, just because she has a cowboy hat doesn't mean necessarily that she was going to be a cool character. So, but, so I started playing Genshin again. I started going through the story, I played through the rest of Sumeru, the entirety of Fontaine, all the way up to the current patch in Natlin, so I'm all the way caught up on story and stuff. And, and I gotta say, I actually really like Chaska, I think she's really cool. Uh, I think she's really neat, and I'm really hyped to see her, so let's just watch this teaser, <laughs> let's just get into it. Now I am caught up on the story, so I'm kind of scared I'll Yasha, see something. Inca gang called dibs on this job. <laughs> Something that'll make and me that depressed. It's yours? Not in my book. Yasha, back down, or you're not gonna like how this ends. We had an understanding, but taking you out sounds like a better deal. Why does Boss, it? Now's our chance. Let's get him. We'll show you. Yeah, let's go. Uh... I don't know what it is. The voices just don't feel like they match up too well. I like the shot though. Oh shit. Oh, that's a great fucking shot. Do me a favor. Oh my god. Let's talk this out. Shall we? Jaska. This will end in blood. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Enough talking. Let's fight. Oh shit. <laughs> Two against one, huh? <laughs> Looks to me like you put aside your differences without me. Jaska, we came to spill blood, and that blood is yours. With you out of the way, we won't have to watch our backs. Dude, she does not even give a shit. Peacemaking. Look, she's not even looking at you guys. From the Inca and Yasha gangs. <sighs> What a mess. Little late for regrets. Don't you think? You misunderstand me. <laughs> you oh my you god. Heart. God damn. Dude, these are some great fucking shots. Another fight? Oh. You're still injured. Safety first. How many times do I have to tell you? They were hardened criminals. They can't be reasoned with. So I had to... No. Oh. I almost forgot. My messes don't need excuses anymore. Well, except for making me feeling depressed. Uh... I thought this was a really fucking good trailer. Most of it, anyway. I like a lot of these shots. Like this? Holy shit. This is exactly what I'm looking for. This shot, too? Damn! Actually, I'm gonna make this the fucking thumbnail. This is great. Fucking... I like a lot of these shots. Okay, the only problem I really had was the voice acting. I don't know what it is. The voice for this guy was like... Uh, it just didn't really feel like it fit. And then she just really sounded unenthused the entire time. I, other than the voice acting, I, I actually liked everything else of it. Like, everything in the shots, even the choreography here. By the way, if you are going at someone 2v1, and you are both melee characters, and she is holding you back with a bow, with one hand, I feel like that's a red flag. I feel like I back out of the plan and run away. Because I, if I'm attacking someone, and they hold me back with one hand with a bow, and I'm coming at them with a fucking hammer, right? I'm like, okay, I'm out of my league, I'm out of here. But these guys are fucking determined, and if, if I gotta give them that. <laughs> Maybe I don't give them a good grade on decision making, or life choices, but I give them a grade on standing, standing your ground. God damn, this one though? Hot fucking damn. Uh, I, by the way, okay, so 
if you are caught up to the story uh, of Genshin Impact right now, I think it's 5.2, then uh, you're good. But if you're not, I'm going to say some stuff, and it's 100% going to be spoilers for Natlin. And so this is the time to walk away right now and come back later once you've got up to Natlin. Uh, so I will give you like 5 seconds. Okay, so if you're still here, that means you uh, are aware that what I'm going to say will spoil some of the story. So what that means you're good with that. I'm not going to lie. I kind of <laughs> I actually forgot about this part. I'm really sad that her sister died. I don't know how to say her name, so I'm not even going to attempt to. I'm not going to try to... I'm not even going to like mess this up too hard, but... Uh, I, don't know, I got really sad just seeing her again, because it's like... I don't know, man. I feel like every time we go to a new nation, the story really steps on from how dark it is. Right? Like, Inazuma, for me, is like when it really started, because it's like, oh my god, I just saw someone... Burned ashes, I see a guy like getting destroyed by like delusions and stuff like that. You know, we go to Sumerio, uh, and Sumerio's just a whole fucking cavalcade of I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's fucked up. Then we get to Fontaine, and people, I'm just seeing people straight up dying. You know, <laughs> I'm just seeing people straight up getting killed. Then we go all the way back here to Natlin, and I see people getting killed, and uh, unfortunately a lot of them are, are allies, so that's kind of a bummer. Including her. By the way, I actually noticed this before, but I, I noticed they're actually both- I think they're both wearing, like, the scarf. I know they're both from, like, the same clan, but I never noticed they kind of have both have the same scarf here. I really hate that- that I- oh my god, I really hate that she's- uh, she's dead. I don't know, I know there's nothing- I don't know if there was- I don't think there was a way to save her. I think it was, like, a canon event for Chaska to, like, awaken to become the hero through that. And I really hate that, because it's like, fuck, you know what I mean? Because back in the story where it's like- uh, you know, like, uh, Mavica's like, hey, you know, I don't want to tell the people that they're heroes, because, like, what if it ruins their moment to become a hero? But at the same time, it's, like, moments like this where, like, when Chaska's, si like, sister dies, and I'm like, man, if only we kind of told her beforehand, she would have, like, I don't know. It, I'm, I'm working with a lot of what-ifs, but, uh, it's just, it's just sad. It's just kind of sad, you know? <laughs> it's sad to see people go. Uh, and I have to, I have to admit that might be a continuing trend in Natlin. You know, we still got, uh, I think we have another act left. I don't know, I don't know if it's coming this patch or next patch, because I, I heard that this patch, we're not actually getting story for it. So I don't know how true that is, but I guess I'll find out when it happens. Until then, though, I am going to... <laughs> Until then, I'm going to just keep grinding for Chaska. I'm guaranteed a 5-star, I have at least 90 pulls. Although I haven't played Genshin in so long, I don't know if I'm teetering on the 50-50, so that'll be really fun to explore. But we can talk about that later. And I will, the next time you see me on a Genshin video, or probably when the demo comes out, if I don't do the demo, the next time you see me, I'm at least rolling for her. So until then, I will see you guys later. Uh, so have a good one and happy trails. Catch you guys next time.